A very good day to you and welcome back to Felix CRV Web Educational Series. My name is George K. Today I go through a very important aspect of trading, which is called technical analysis. But before we begin, let me remind you that all the points we discuss today is for educational purpose and by no means a form of trading advice. Let's get on to it. So here are the topics we'll be going through today. First, we're going through a later description of technical analysis. So let you have an overview of the subjects. Following, we'll be going through a very first part of technical analysis, which is called trends. And we'll be touching on a little bit of support and resistance. So let us proceed. Some of you might wonder what exactly is technical analysis. So can I do it? Technical analysis is a framework in which traders study price movement. The theory is that a person can look at historical price movement and determine the current trading conditions and potential price movement. The main evidence of using technical analysis is that theoretically, all current market information is reflected in price. So if price reflects all the information that is out there, then price actions is all one we really need to make a trade. Technical analysts look for similar patterns that have formed in the past and will form trades idea believing the price will act the same way that it did before. So moving on to the main gist of our topics. Trends. So what are trends? Trends are basically a movement of price actions in a certain directions. There are three basic trends and they are uptrends, downtrend and finally the sideways trend. So let us take a closer look and identify these trends. Firstly, we have the uptrend. Generally, on the uptrend, it is characterized by higher high and higher low. Usually, this occurs when there is a high interest to purchase and go long. And hence, before price actually moves to its previous low, buyers are ready to buy at the premiums, while sellers are only willing to sell at a higher price, resulting in a strong buying interest. This would result in the price generally moving upwards. Here, in example, we can clearly see the price move along in the uptrend, giving a classic sign such as higher highs and the higher lows. On the downtrend, the reverse is true. We will see a lower high and a lower low. So how does this happen? So basically, a lower high and lower low is formed by more interest in selling in the particular counters. So before the price reached the previous high, sellers are ready to sell a discount. Similarly, buyers are only willing to buy a lower price. This means that there is stronger selling interest in the particular counters, hence likelihood this counter will go down. Again, we can observe in this example a clear formation of downtrends showing clearly the lower lows and lower highs. So moving ahead with sideways trend, in the illustrations above we can see the price action move in a sideways manner with high and lows moving horizontally. So for the following few trends, it is safe to say that it will be easier to trade with the trend and hence the saying, the trend is your friend. It is safe to say that trading with trend will be more beneficial. Also, trading against the trend will be more risky and it is akin to swimming against the natural currents. So moving ahead, let us identify support and resistance points in trading charts. Naturally, you will be definitely be asking what is support and resistance. So let me illustrate them with our examples. For the uptrend illustrated, we can clearly see the price reversal at a higher high and a higher low. Price reversal at a higher high are called resistance level and it resists going higher than its current price. By price reversal on a higher low, AMA is a support level due to its resistance to go lower than its current price. Hence, so what is the importance of resistance and support? Resistance is basically a psychological level a seller perceives as an ideal place to sell or short. Support is a reverse, but it is a psychological level where buyers perceive as a perfect place to buy or long. So let me illustrate this with further examples. Here, we can clearly see the base level of prices for a particular stock. The price are kept at a certain level and this is known as support line. 
Alternative on the reverse side, in these examples, we can clearly see the price are prevent from going further outwards with a clear distinct level. In fact, it is so clear we can even draw a straight line across. In these next examples, we can see that the support level was initiated. However, as the support level is broken due to its price moving going lower than intended support price, this initial support level will be the resistance level. This can be seen as the prices retain its resistance towards the later part of the price movement as shown in the figure. Here are some of the key notes on support and resistance. The heavier the volume, the stronger the strength of the support or resistance. The more the support or resistance is tested, the stronger it is. In the uptrending stock, support will hold whereas the downtrending stock, resistance will hold. So let us take a look at further examples. So once again, in this example, we can clearly see the resistance has reversed and turned to support once it's broken. Now currently in this uptrend, we will see a resistance level. However, as the trend develops, the resistance level is broken towards the upside. So usually when this happens, it's naturally become the next support level. So let us take a look at more complex examples. In here, we can clearly see the uptrend. And now in the uptrend, we can also establish the resistance as shown. However, it is important to note that usually resistance will always fail. As the price action increase, fuel resistance will form the next support level, but as price increase, it consolidates slightly and we can establish the next support level here. Let's take a look at other examples. In bearish market, Clark C downtrend can be seen as shown here. We can establish the first resistance line here and the support here. As support is broken, we can clearly establish that the next resistance level, support will only be established later as we can see here. As price action proceeds further downwards, support fails again, thus forming the next resistance. It can clearly be seen that in this bearish market condition, we can determine the reverse of our trend is true where support will always fail. So in summary, following the trend and support resistance theories, we can establish that it will be a good strategy to long should it break the resistance. The reverse is also true, hence it is also a good strategy to short a stock when it breaks the support. So quick recap for the day. First, we have discussed the need for technical analysis and how it could help us with trading. Next, we also went through the basic aspect of technical analysis just by looking at trends. We also established the support and resistance and how to identify them on chart. It will be good practice to identify this line as they will aid you in your daily trades. So this is just the tips of the iceberg and I hope I captured your interest in this subject matter because as we go along into the series, there will be more techniques discussed as we proceed into the course. Till then, happy trading!